This is a summary of the formation and interior structure of the giant planets in our solar system. Giant planets are different from terrestrial planets. They are much more massive, they orbit the Sun at larger distances, and they are less dense. Their lower density is mostly due to them having large amounts of hydrogen and helium, the lightest of elements. As a reminder, our solar system formed from an interstellar cloud of gas and dust that contracted under gravity and then formed into a rotating disk. Once in a disk, condensed particles began to further clump, forming planetesimals. The disk called the solar nebula, was initially evenly mixed in material. It was mostly made of hydrogen and helium, with smaller amounts of ices and rocks. Because of the forming sun at the center, only rocks could clump near it, forming small, rocky, terrestrial planets. Farther away, both rocks and ices could condense, forming larger planetary cores of around 10 Earth masses. This was enough to draw in the hydrogen and helium gas through gravity. As a side note, not all astronomers agree with the core formation theory. Some astronomers think that gravitational instability could lead to giant planet formation on its own. Jupiter and Saturn formed with ice and rock cores of about 10 Earth masses. Because of the immense pressure and temperature there, these may currently be in molten form. These are surrounded by hydrogen and helium envelope that make up most of the mass of these planets. Because of similar pressure and temperature considerations, much of the hydrogen envelope of these planets would also be compressed to liquid or even metallic form. The greater pressures at depth are due to hydrostatic equilibrium because deeper layers have to support the weight of greater overlying layers, the pressure must increase to counterbalance gravity. Greater pressure then correlates with greater density and temperature. Here is another side note. If sufficient pressure and temperature build up, hydrogen can start fusing into helium at the core. That would make the object a main sequence star. Our giant planets, however, are far less massive. It would take about 80 times the mass of Jupiter for nuclear fusion to be ignited. Uranus and Neptune are much less massive than Jupiter and Saturn, but still much more massive than Earth. They still have large cores of ices and rocks, but their hydrogen envelopes are far smaller, making up only about a third of their mass. The pressures and temperatures are high enough for the ices to be in molten liquid form, but probably not the hydrogen. These two planets are sometimes referred to as ice giants.
The reason why Uranus and Neptune have so much less hydrogen is debated, but many astronomers think it's because their distant orbit from the Sun made them accrete their cores a lot slower, and by the time they got big enough, most of the hydrogen was blown away by the newly formed Sun. Again, there are many factors being debated, including the possibility that each of the planets may have formed at different distances from the Sun than where we observe them now, as well as considerations of stellar winds from other stars that formed in the same star-forming region as the Sun.